So this is a quick video to show you how to use Brady Workstation uh, and the custom designer app within Brady Workstation to design your own labels. We're going to do a safety label today. Um, so within uh, the main home screen within Brady Workstation, we're going to concentrate on custom designer, which is this app here. There are other apps available for doing specific jobs. They're available, so it's worth having a look at the Brady App Store. Uh, you can download, most of the apps are available on a, a free trial. Uh, you can try them before you pay for a license. Uh, we're going to open up the custom designer app. The custom designer app is the, the main label design app that allows you to create and edit and save your own labels. So once uh, custom design is opened, we are going to set multicolor. You can set your printer model here. So if you were using a different printer model, we're using the BBP35, but all the Brady printers are here. So we select the printer model. We click on installed. Um, I haven't got a printer connected, but if you've got a printer connected, it'll show you the vinyl that's installed in the printer. You select that there, and then we click create. Once you get through to the label design screen, you can adjust the zoom level so that you can see all of your label on the screen. If you're working on a small label, you can increase the zoom level. But we're working on a full four inch tape here. Down in the bottom section of the screen on document properties, we can set the length that we want the label to be. So we're gonna set the length to 300 millimeters. Click OK, it trims the label down to 300 millimeters. Um, to design on the label, you use the drawing tools down the side here. So that's the text tool, that's the barcode tool, that's the graphic tool, and that's the shape tool. Um, we choose a graphic tool, click and drag a box out, and that jumps us into our graphics. First tab you see is recent graphics, so if you've got graphics that you use a lot, they should all be sitting here. Um, we can open up the main category list. So you've got lots of different graphics available, including exit. Uh, we can put show color graphics on so we get the color, the right correct color of graphic. Um, so you've got exit signs, fire safety symbols, um, mandatory symbols, prohibition. There's lots more here, but I suppose they're the highlights in terms of safety symbols. Um, warning. So we can close within the warning category, we can close down the British standard graphics and open up the European graphics. And we can pull in a forklift truck symbol there. Um, you can drag and drop the uh, the symbol. So if you wanted it at the other end of the label, you would just drag it to where you want it to be. Finished with the symbol. Then we want to create a shape. And we're going to choose a rounded rectangle. So we select the rounded rectangle. Click and drag a box out. We don't want it to be black, um, but before I change the color, just to show you down here, um, we're on the, the properties of the rectangle. So, so to change something about the rectangle, you click it first, and then rounded rectangle properties appears here. And then here we could, if we wanted no fill and we just wanted a border, you can set a, a border there. So that's that's using the, uh, the no fill. We're gonna turn, turn the solid fill back on, set the color to yellow, and we're finished with the box. Then we want to create our first piece of text. So we're gonna click down. Um, we don't want yellow text because yellow text would not be very good on a yellow box. We want a black text box. And we then type the word warning. And once we've selected it, we can, once we've finished it, we can click off. Clicking back on allows you to drag and, and drop warning to where you want it to be. So we're just gonna sort of plonk it in the middle. You can also increase the font size. So this is your font size here. Um, if you want to be somewhere in between, you can over type. So rather than if 72 is, is sort of getting a little bit big, you could set that to um, 60. So that sets the, um, the font size. And then we'll just center that up a little bit. We want another text box. So we click and drag a text box out. Uh, this time I'm going to turn on the auto fit and auto fit means that the more we type the smaller the text gets so we then type in forklift trucks operate 
just through this dot. Click the selected tool, click off, click back on, and then if we open that box up a little bit, just like that, it'll auto format the text just to fill the box really with text. And that's it. That's our safety symbol, safety sign done.